Hi guys, how are you all? I hope all of you are doing great. Uh, so welcome back to Electricity Market in India. And uh, today's topic is very relevant to residential customers. जो लोग अपने घरों पे सोलर रूफटॉप लगाना चाहते हैं उनके लिए ये वीडियो बनाया गया है सो टुडे आई वुड लाइक टू डीमिस्टिफाइंग द मेजर थिंग्स विच गोज इन योर माइंड वेदर टू डिसाइड वेदर टू ऑफ फॉर सोलर रूफटॉप और नॉट एंड दिस वीडियो मेन इंटेंशन इज टू फोल्ड वन इज इकोनॉमिकल इकोनॉमिकली वी विल सी वेदर इट मेक्स एडवांटेज टू गो फॉर सोलर रूफटॉप और नॉट एंड द सेकेंड पार्ट इज मोर ऑफ Uh, on uh, on the social causes which we have in our mind uh, like uh, i would like to give a fact that uh, the greenhouse gases has been tremendously going even after uh, the P paris protocol in uh, uh, place uh, we know that the climate change has a real significant effect in our day to day life uh, we have seen floods in us and canada which has we have never witnessed to we have seen the landslide and the glaciers melting uh landslide in the uttarakhand region which is being seen more prominently uh over the last few years which was not seen earlier uh of course mumbai rains and these things are somewhere something which we are used to now but these are now being seen in uh, other cities also uh, so we these are all part of the global uh changes which are happening because of use of the fossil fuels and the greenhouse gases which we use so choosing to go for renewable has some meaning for some some people who don't look into money they just need to uh, make sure that they get green power at their roof so for them it's a no brainer you go for solar rooftops if you want to contribute towards the greener part of our uh, energy system uh, and for those who look for whether it makes an economical advantage uh, to go for solar this video is made for them so the major factors which you need to see before choosing whether to go for solar rooftop or not in your state is uh, number one is the location of your building so location of your house to be more precise now india being a subcontinental country we have a uh, different kind of uh, climate across different states in india so if you go in the western part you enjoy a very beautiful solar mandays of around 300 plus so what it means is you get uninterrupted solar power uh, in your location without any hindrance for more than 300 days in a year uh, similarly if you go to the eastern part or the north eastern part they are not so fortunate they get around 220 uh, to 250 solar mandays in a year so what it means uh, to a layman is if you put up a 1 kilowatt system of say 40000 rupees in gujarat you get more power if you put up a similar structure system in your uh, state in assam you will get less power uh, uh, you can see in the radiation map i have put in in the video you can also google it out as world bank solar ghi map of india you will see the kind of radiation changes it happens from north to south and from west to east so uh, if you are if your house is somewhere in the western part in rajasthan gujarat uh, haryana uh, maharashtra or in the southern states like tamil nadu kerala karnataka telangana ap Uh, you will get a very good solar radiation so one of the major checklist is ticked you are in those zones where solar radiation is pretty high even in those states like uttar pradesh uttarakhand jharkhand uh, you can go for solar because you enjoy as a, a sunday not like gujarat or rajasthan but better than what you will get in northeast assam or west bengal the second factor which you need to keep in your mind before choosing solar is the present discom electricity tariff of your state now Uh, each state be india being a federal uh, structure every state has their own regulatory commission they come out with their own tariff order and different tariff from state to state uh, so although your house may be in the western region but there are states in the western part of india like goa where the electricity tariff is just around 5 rupees uh, similarly if you go to the eastern part odisha tariff is very low around 6 rupees 5 and a half to 6 rupees per unit jharkhand is around 4 and a half to 5 rupees per unit so even Uh, you may enjoy a better solar radiation in these states uh, economically it may not it, it will not make much sense to go for solar because your solar landed tariff would be uh, levelized for 25 years would be somewhere around 3 rupees 70 to 4 rupees and your discom tariff itself is around 4 and a half rupees so doesn't make much difference but there are states like rajasthan maharashtra uh, where the discom tariff is somewhere around 8 and 8 and a half 8 rupees Tamil Nadu it's around six and a half seven rupees. West Bengal above eight rupees. So the moment you make a shift to solar, you make a drastic savings of around 
35 40 percent of your on your present electricity bill uh, now how much capacity you should go for solar it's as as per your contract demand so till 10 kilowatt there is absolutely no issue with net metering or gross metering you can blindly go for that much capacity if you have the roof size available with you uh, the third point which you need to see uh, while making a, a decision is the regulation of your state whether net metering is allowed or not, what kind of subsidies your states are giving, whether there is a central subsidy in place, whether there is a state subsidy in place, what is the procedure of getting those subsidies. Adding these subsidies will actually make your payback period less if you're going for a capex route and uh, your uh, savings and uh, profit would be more if you go for solar in uh, considering these aspects. Most of the states are now allowing gross metering uh, till 500 kilowatt. Some states 10 kilowatt. So if you are a residential customer, you will get net metering facility. What it means is whatever power will get unused, will get pumped back into the grid. You will get a credit out of it in your next electricity bill. So all a win-win for the customer. The fourth and the final thing which you need to see is making the technical uh, well making this choice is what kind of equipments and technology you are using for your solar rooftop if you go for mono perk it would be costlier uh, than the poly perk modules but it will live longer you need to check with your dpc companies what kind of uh, cables they are using if they are fireproof it's aluminium based or copper based what kind of inverters they are using so for a similar uh, one kilowatt system some of the epcs may charge you 30000 to 35000 uh, and there are EPCs which may charge you 45,000, 50,000. Just, just don't go for the pricing. Check the entire BOQ of the material, what kind of material they are using. So this will help you in uh, making a choice because this equipment is going to last for the next 25 years with proper maintenance. If you go for substandard material, it may only last for 6, 7 or 10 years and it will start producing issues. So make a conscious choice into what kind of technology you are using before making a decision. So friends, I hope uh, keeping all these four points in your mind, location of your state, electricity bill of your state, uh, the kind of subsidies and the regulations and finally the technology which you are going to use you will make a conscious decision of moving into solar unfortunately in such a big country like india till today uh, where the installed capacity of power in india is around 380 gigawatts that's around 380000 megawatt the solar constitutes only 45000 megawatt and out of that 45000 megawatt the residential rooftop segment is hardly 1000 megawatt Yes, you heard it right. It's only 1000 megawatts. So we have miles to go before we convert each household into greener power. So I hope you like this video today. If you like, give me a thumbs up. If you have still have some comments uh, or doubts, you write in the comment box. Uh, those who are new to this channel, subscribe to this channel. Hit the bell notification if you need my videos on a regular basis. It will pop up in your system. And the students who wants to have a career in this uh, power sector can do the courses given in the description box. Already 3000 plus students are, have enrolled in these courses across the globe. And I will be personally mentoring you if you do these courses. So uh, that's it from me uh, for today. And uh, I wish you a good day ahead. Thank you.